just a little pack lunch. I suppose this is going to be our uh, dinner. Spot with this. Uh, whilst doing the proxy picks, I decided to get my dog. This onion. Someone got nachos. And I'm getting ready to do a live off. show too. I got oh, tubes in the summer We're on the at Shawnee Mission Parkway. Just done a uh, assignment at Proxy Pigs. Paddington is keeping a watchful eye out there. Making sure no one nicks his marmalade sandwich. Oh, I'll take my marmalade sandwich out of this. Anyway, get some food and get off to the next Proxy Pigs. And I'll be doing the live show along the way. See you all in a bit. He dashes here, he dashes there, he dashes every bloody where. He dashes up, he dashes down. The dash and womble gets all over town. Whoa! Everyone, no. Right, you did Ash and Womble, yeah? Wow, what a day. Hope everyone's had a great Saturday. Hopefully, uh, all the dashes, etc., all the gig workers have uh, done well today and earned uh, lots of money. Well, I say today, it's. Uh, what could you're looking at? I've got a watch now. It is 12.35. Well, I've had a watch for a while. I just finally got a battery in it. <laughs> But anyway, 12.35am on a Sunday morning. Well, I say, what? Didn't do any door dashing today. I see you had a, had a rather full day, to be fair. Didn't get a lot of sleep. I sleep. I thought I'd had something, too much to drink. Anyway, didn't have a lot of sleep before we left. Um, had a uh, family lunch today. Or yesterday, as it would be now, over in Overland Park. Oh, was, and um, went to uh, Stroud's little restaurant over there. They do a lot of chicken, apparently. Anyway, actually, we knew the restaurant we were going to. We never, don't think we've ever been to it as as a Stroud's restaurant. It used to be like a little uh, French restaurant, Mimi's. So we 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 would go go in there with that. So I guess uh, Strauss must have bought bought the building, and it's now that we actually recognise the building. It's pretty uh, easy to spot. Anyway, got over there, met the family, had some at uh, lunch. I had lots of mashed potatoes. Do love mashed potatoes, don't get enough of them. A little bit salty, but only a little bit. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was enjoyable. Got to see everyone, and uh, yeah. But also, yesterday, or Friday night, I had uh, looked at my proxy pics and went, I thought, thought I saw a message. Oh, okay. So I went and checked the message. And, um, yeah, I'd got some proxy picks offers. They assigned them to me. 
I thought it was ten. I thought it was ten, but it was actually nine that they assigned. I don't know why I kept thinking it was ten, but anyway, it was actually nine and uh, seven Dutch brothers and two collision centers. Wow, crikey! So went off and uh, so after uh, lunch. First of all, we went to, of course, if you know, whenever I'm in Overland Park, KC India Mart. Straight there. I would have the uh, demonstration of what I've got, but I am. <laughs> um, vegetable samosas. Oh, I do love vegetable samosas. And they're quite cheap from there too, actually. Um, but yeah, went in there. Watched the kid get run over there. Run over by a pushchair. <laughs> she wondered what had happened. She's only a little toddler too. <laughs> this woman was walking around with a uh, push and a pushchair inside the shop. And she you knows she was looking around. I don't, I don't know. But the baby, I suppose, in the push chair was already uh, uh, covered, covered up. I don't know. I didn't, didn't look. But anyway, I saw this family that were in front of me at the register there, and their little girl was, you know, just bobbing around, just looking at everything, and then this lady come round. And uh, she was looking at other stuff and that, and she stopped. And then she moved on, and this little toddler was there, and she ran into her with her uh, um, push chair. I mean, she didn't hit her hard, but the kid kind of went flipping, moving on, and the woman's like, what happened? <laughs> she looked around, oh, jeez. Because <laughs> she couldn't see. It was, had, like, a big front to it. And uh, oh, she was so, oh, she was so apologetic, that woman. Kids like wondering what happened. <laughs> I mean, she, but she was very apologetic. It was just so funny how the kid went poof, 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 moved along a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't get to her. I mean, they were little, just a little bit ahead of me. But anyway, they were fine. They were both fine. Woman and toddler were fine. <laughs> Oh, the woman was very upset, the one that she, uh, that was pushing the chair. She know that she was pushing the uh, baby's push chair thing. She was, uh, she knew she was the one that did wrong, but she was so, so apologetic. So upset that she'd done that. Anyway, um, so got out of there and went off and done my first proxy picks. For a while, it was a Dutch Brothers. It was in Olafa, and whew, it was a bit of a toasty one out there today. Not super humid, not a lot of humidity, though, so that was good. I uh, went off and done that one, and um, yeah, got that done. And then when I finished that, I was like, well, I've got a friend around, lives around here, and... He's been asking me to go over there. He's got some stuff for sale and he wanted some help in selling this stuff. Yeah, he's got various things. He's got a couple of cars he wants to sell. He's got a couple of motorbikes. He's got lots of artwork. He's got woodworking tools. Um, he's got light fixtures. I mean, lots of light fixtures. Brand new inboxes. He bought them at an auction or somewhere. And um, got a whole load of those in there, and he's got um, motorcycle stuff, um, like wearables, apparel, crash helmets. Oh, what else does he have? And then musical equipment, guitars and amplifiers. So. There's a lot to go through, but um, I wasn't feeling quite up to it. It's the first time I've been to his home. It was a very nice home. But I got to see 
Samson. I'm going to put a picture of baby Samson up here or there, whichever way. Baby Samson. And then there's some other pictures. Actually, I've got to look on my phone. There's some pictures missing of him. All the animals have uh, their own little folders on my uh, on my phone. The so I can easily find their pictures. But there was a couple missing on, on Samson. But I was looking on this phone, so maybe they didn't transfer over or something. But anyway, got to see him and uh, chatted with Ray. Yes, his name's Ray too. And uh, we were talking about our uh, dealings with ZZ Top. We both had uh, dealings with uh, ZZ Top. And uh, yeah, so we were talking about him. So that was quite funny. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it was quite nice down there. Got out of there and went off to um, Shawnee Mission to get pictures of yet another bloody Dutch Brothers. Got that one done. While we were there, it was very busy there. While we were there, um, got some... Uh, left there. And they were pretty nice there because I had to get in the drive through and take pictures of around there. And uh, they don't have a speaker box at any of these dry, uh, Dutch Brothers drive throughs And uh, so there there's, seems to be always someone there. If it's very busy, they'll come out and they'll go to uh, each vehicle and ask what they want ahead of time. And then they'll enter it in their iPad thing, I suppose. Anyway, um, so I was in, in the second drive through lane over and they came over and I told them I just did to take pictures for uh, maintenance, per building maintenance, and they went, okay, here, yeah, no problem. And uh, so we did that and we drove away from there because there was a questionnaire to answer. I'd taken all the pictures there that I needed and just went off and bit at the other end of the car park and sat there and answered the questions in this questionnaire and um and i was doing no, i didn't do the live show we was actually watching uh mary B, mary b's gigs she was doing a live show so we were still watching watching her for a little bit then and uh and then i noticed that there was a food truck over uh, in the bottom of this car car park and it's a nice big food truck and um we ended up getting some uh i got a hot dog and mrs womble got a uh nachos or something or other and uh it was pretty good we got a couple of drinks and uh it was pretty good i've got a picture of the the, the uh, vehicle up here and um you can look them up they've got a website I'll put the link down below. But yeah, well, we enjoyed it. Quite nice. Quite nice. I mean, it was just a dog and she got that. and It was just something different. We hadn't eaten at a food truck for a long time and just felt a little bit of peckish at the time. So even after all those mashed potatoes I ate at the restaurant. But anyway, that was a while back. So anyway, so we went off. And first one I went to after that, I think, was uh, Grandview. Actually, we went to Grandview. I went to the Collision Centre because I had uh, seven... Yes, yeah, right. Seven Dutch Brothers I do and uh, two Collision Centres, all of which we've done before. So um went to the Collision Centre... I took all the pictures that it wanted all the, in the unlimited section. Got to the hipping bit where it says, take a picture of the front of the building, the back of the building, the side of the building, and all that. Got to that, clicked on the first thing. It said, you can't go any further because it can only be done on weekdays. Crap. Forgot all about that. But you have to set a damn thing on it, a stipulation. There's no one here. 
for crying out loud, there's no one here. Let me just bip and take the pictures and let's move on. There's no one there, there's no one in the way. I normally get to those after hours on a weekday or weeknight, whichever you want to do. And um, it just wouldn't let me move on. It was like, why don't you just let me do this? I mean, it's better that there's no one here. We're not disturbing anyone else. And it says, I know, in the on the uh, thing on um, on the assignment details to see management or whatever when you get there before you take pictures. Well, no one. It, the times I have been spoke to people, they don't know their fitting arse from their elbow. They don't know what the heck I'm there for, what I'm on about, and they go, okay. Or in the case of one idiot flipping up down in the independence flipping collision place, he was this manager was a complete and utter buffoon. And um, anyway, we never went on from that because he was a bloody idiot. And uh, I told him never send me that one again. I still got paid for the job, but anyway, that's beside the point. He was just a bloody idiot. No two ways about it, buffoon. Anyway, um. So I'd never done that one again. Don't want to know until idiot has moved on. Anyhow, um, so uh, so I went and done that, and it wouldn't let me carry on. I ended up putting the pictures in another folder, so I do have those pictures in now. Um, I just don't want to drive the flipping 15 miles or whatever it is away from home to go do it again on Monday but I've got the pictures in my phone I might be able to upload it somehow don't know but anyway <sighs> if not I'll just go bloody well do it again but but yeah it was um so I did that then went down to another Dutch Brothers, got pictures of that one. That's uh, one of their people come out. Oh, no, rang on that one. No one came out on that one, so it was fine. Done all of that. Went down to the next one. No one came out on that one, however. And then... Um, after that, I went to... Oh, and by the way, all this time we were doing doing those, we was on a live show. I'd started the live show when we left Shawnee at the food truck. So anyway, went and done this one in Belton, I think it was, for... for another Dutch Brothers, in up to... Independence, another one in Independence, and then finally landed in uh, Raytown to do that one. And just about got there in time to do the one in Raytown because it was getting a bit dark and the sun had got about gone down. And, uh, yeah. I can put some of the pictures up here if you want or just make a montage of uh, pictures on another video. But, um... It gives you an idea of what to take pictures of. But it's um those Dutch brothers they say you want they want twenty twenty five pictures, uh unlimited pictures, um of well first of all you have to do picture of the front of the building, front left, front right and the rear rear of the building. The rest in the questionnaire, you have to go to the questionnaire and then now it asks if there's a dumpster area. And you have to take a couple of pictures within the questionnaire. I know that, so I always go to that and then I get that done. And then go and do the rest. Um, but yeah, the um, so I did the sides of the building. But immediately just got stuck in with doing the, the dumpster thing first. Or the rubbish bin. And then... Take pictures of the signs, the grass, the all the uh, like I said, all the signage, 
the shrubbery. I mean, you you just take pictures of everything that they ask and uh, fill that bloody thing up. I mean, it asked for a 25, a minimum of 25. I think all of them were like between 30 and... Uh, uh, I think 37. I think that was the largest I did on those. So anyway... And most of them have been approved. I saw that the last one hasn't been approved. And there's another two that they need to approve on that. So waiting on those. But they've already done that. And I can cash out any time on those. So yeah, all in all, it was very good. Unfortunately, I have to uh, go back and do something with the collision centers. One is closed closer to us but uh the other one's a little bit further south but if i had to go go back down there then so be it but it was good it was good i was glad to actually get on that and be able to uh get started back hopefully the, the, the verizon ones are come through as well so there's more training if you've been look at apparently great I had a brief look at it before i came on here I think it's going to need a little bit more um, concentration. But yeah, it was... Uh, and all the time, I like it. We were running the uh, the live show for a long time. In fact, when I finished up, I'd done um, seven hours, just over seven hours on that live show. Which gave me a total of around 29 watch hours, I think it was. I, there wasn't a lot of people in there, but who stayed in there were in there a long time. Mary B, Mary B's gigs was gigs was in there. She's very loyal to watching everybody. Her and her kitty. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it was uh, Howard Kitty Howard Howard McKitty. If you haven't been and seen Howard's channel, Howard McKitty. Just a funny little cat. Lovely little cat. But no, um, not really a lot else. I'm just going to uh, see if anything else comes in for proxy picks. Like I said, I never bothered to do any DoorDash today or yesterday, whichever it is, yesterday. But today I may well get into it. I'm not sure yet. Not sure. Apparently, I've got to uh, clear some stuff out in the garage, so I can fill it up in uh, anticipation of when more stuff arrives to fill it up. <laughs> but but that's fine. I mean, I can get all that stuff sold hopefully, and we can move it on and. Uh, Ray will be happier that it's gone. <laughs> Little less stuff in his garage. And some money's in everyone's pocket. But anyway, uh, so, what else to say? Oh, I tried getting dash cam footage. Dash cam worked all day. And it was working even when it fell down outside the restaurant. Because I guess the... Uh, sticky pad thing that it's on the little uh mount that comes on the suction pad that had decided to come unstuck while we were in the restaurant it was bloody hot but the darn dash cam was working all through it so it worked all day and then when i turned the van off just a little while ago and went to turn it back on again it wouldn't start up but anyway it did film a uh, idiot drive. We were coming back 4.35 and heading towards um, Lee Summit area. And this buffoon came down here in a Crown Victoria or similar, just going right away through the traffic. What an absolute idiot. Absolute idiot. And just a short time after that, here comes the flipping police. 
in the uh, paddy wagon, Ford Transit paddy wagon, diesel, all the lights and sirens going. They, surely that thing's not bloody well chasing that car because it's got no bloody help. No hope, rather. Bloody no hope. Anyway, a couple of shout-outs. Uh, Mary's Bees, Mary's Bees Geeks. Go to her channel. Lovely lady. She does a lot of support for the geek workers. Very, just supports everybody. So go ahead and look at her videos. She does live shows. And, uh... Very nice lady down in Florida. Um, got a, and her kitty, her kitty cat. Go see him too, Howard. You cannot if you miss going to see Howard. Howard McKitty. I'm gonna put links down below. So go, make sure you go there. Make sure you sign up and subscribe and whatever else on both of those channels because you'll thoroughly enjoy them. And talking about enjoying channels, a couple of them, but one was released today by, or yesterday by, the old driver. Bloody hell, this bloke is funny. I mean, I've seen some YouTube videos, YouTube uh, gig tubers. They're all somewhat similar. Some have got more drama than others. Some are actually flipping buffoons. Uh, more than others. Some are complete liars. <laughs> but anyway. Um, but this one is absolutely bloody hilarious. This bloke doesn't know what is. He doesn't know that he's got so much talent. Bloody hell, is he good? Anyhow, um, go check him out, The Old Driver. His link will be down below. I'll try to put his banner up here too. But it's um, bloody funny. And this last one that he put out... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, Lord. It's... It's funny. Just go check him out. Go like and subscribe to him. Definitely, he definitely deserves your sus subscription. Definitely deserves that. Um, and also, um, who else was there? Well, there's several people, to be fair. But anyway, Renegade Gig Hustler as well. Go take a look at um, his site. Uh, Dave is his name. And um, he's done a lot of videos. He's been doing it. Doing gig work. Or and maybe DoorDash. For much longer than I. I think he's actually been doing it for five years. Thereabouts. And um, he's great too. And he's got a little doggy that he'll bring on to on the uh, on the shows at times. Little Sammy. And uh, oh well, it's just so many, so many very good uh, good people to uh, gig gig tubers to to promote to you all, to let you all know about. I just can't think of them all. Can't think of them all. Of them at this time of night. It's been a very long day, but I'm gonna put links down below as I uh, to them. Just click on those links after the app things. Just click on them, and it'll take you there to their websites or to their YouTube channels. But they're all great. Everyone's got a different way of approaching things. On these, we've got a very fipping, uh, nice social group of uh, community in this gig economy. Um, so, and it's all a drama-free zone. Well, until some pillar comes in and causes that. Some, but anyway, we generally don't let that happen. And if they do, they get kicked out. But anyway, it's... Uh, 
It's been fun. Just, it is very much a fun, fun group. But we all got our gripes, and certainly have a lot. Of, but some, some ones, some have a different approach to it each time, and some are very talented in the way that they uh, put it to video. Anyway, um, if you've not already done so, please like the uh, video. Thumbs up. It'll. Uh, help uh, the algorithm do something or other and show my videos off to more people so more people can get bored by me or fall asleep when I start yawning because I, I tend to do that. And I can tell you another thing is when I'm editing these videos during the wee hours most of the time, good grief. When I'm yawning on here, it is bloody hard not to yawn back watching myself. Ah, oh, good grief. But also, um, hit the subscribe button as well, if you would. It's all free to do. It doesn't cost you anything. And the subscribe just shows that you've shows me that, you, that you've enjoyed it all. And that you want to see more of this daft old British geezer, English bloke. And for some of you that don't know um i'm actually from southwest london in england and i'm from a little less known town called wimbledon where they play those that silly tennis game but there's a lot more to wimbledon than just bloody balls it's not all balls <laughs> but, um maybe i'll get to tell you more about that place when i'm uh in a in a uh, video but there is a lot more to Wimbledon for sure hell of a lot more it's actually quite a uh, famous little town and there's quite a lot goes on there and there's quite a lot of famous people that live there and come from there too it's actually a lot goes on in Wimbledon but anyway um so hit that, uh, hit the bell icon too. It'll go ring a ding ding as soon as the uh, video, uh, one of my videos hit the airwaves or the YouTube waves, and it'll just let you know when through any of your notifications, whether it be on your phone, your uh, email, or carrier pigeon, or flipping smoke flipping signals who bloody knows but anyway it will let you know also um now all of those are free but you do have the choice if you so desire i would be most grateful if you did but i'm not forcing you and do not think that you're obliged to do it but i do have uh some support the channel links you can uh where it helps you know, me buy more new equipment uh, or newish equipment to uh, show off what I actually do on a daily basis. You know, when I go to uh, pick up points to pick up food or when I go to drop it off too. Yeah, when I go to drop it off too. And um, there's some very nice homes that we de that are delivered to. There's some very regular homes that we do to deliver to as well. And there's some not so brilliant. But, you know, we've all got our different ways of living and such. Just want to get a little bit of air in here. It's uh, 83 degrees and it's just gone 1am. Anyway, um, so yeah, so you can support the channel by going to uh, Cash App um, and that one immediately comes out to us. I can't remember the percentage that they take, but it's not an awful lot. Uh, PayPal, the same, comes immediately to us and uh, not a big percentage on that. And then there's Buy Me A Coffee which is a great little app 
but they charge, uh, they take, I think it's like 30 or 35% of uh, uh, whatever you send to us or send to anyone. But anyway, um, so yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. That would be very nice, very appreciated. But do not feel obliged. I'm just letting you know. And those links will be down below anyway. But um, but no, also, uh, yeah, just it. I know I haven't spoke too much about DoorDash or anything, but we've done, I've done uh, several proxy picks today, yesterday, and uh, looking forward to more coming in because I do miss doing proxy picks. It's uh, a lot of fun. But what I mostly missed was seeing, seeing my mate's dog, Samson. Who I saw today, yesterday, and... Damn, that dog's got a little art of gold. <laughs> he, came, came, he came up and saw me and put his paws on, on my shoulder and then puts his, flipping head, puts his head down on my shoulder. Even his owner, he was like, I don't know, We're... that dog loves you, he says, that dog loves you. But, but he's a big dog, lovely dog. But anyway, um, so thanks for watching everybody and uh, thanks for subscribing and everything and liking. Um, I'm still trying to get the watch hours um i need to get to three thousand watch hours in order to get to the first level of monetization on youtube um as of uh yesterday i don't don't get the updates updated numbers until 1 1 a.m or so every night but the watch hours are and they're always five or six days behind and uh, but Watch hours as of yesterday were 14, just 1496, I think just four under 1500. And I need to get to 3000. So if you can uh, just switch your video machine on and leave it on for your cat or dog or whomever to watch, keep them company, or maybe just scare them. I don't know. But anyway. I'd, uh, whilst you're away at work or take, going down the shops to keep them busy so they don't know you're going out to get some snacks or something. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd be most, most grateful if you would do that. And also, um, you know what, I hope you've enjoyed them all. And hopefully there's going to be more for you to enjoy soon. We've got several new things happening, including some guest stars coming on the show um and then i've got got a couple of channels to go on to too and also we've got a few new things that i'm impl implementing into the channel but right now i need to get indoors because because i'm in my studio my usual studio i didn't go to cinematic view today this new phone does cinematic views. I didn't see much of a difference except that it went dark. But anyway, so I don't have that annoying little flipping square following my head all the time. Like I did yesterday. Anyway, so I don't know. Maybe it's better for when you're doing stuff rather than just talking, talking at the phone. Anyway, I need to get indoors. Very tired. And... Thanks for watching. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of their weekend. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Also, don't forget, my scheduled live show will be Tuesday, every Tuesday, 9pm Central Time. Yeah, thereabouts. On the time, not the day. <laughs> I'm not always, uh, not always uh, on time. I am, I'll be late for my flipping home funeral. I'm sure but anyway um so around that that time 
And I try to do it every Tuesday too. So hopefully we'll see you then. But I also pop up every now and again for other live shows. Just like yesterday. Thanks for watching everybody. And uh, take care. Have fun. Cheers. Ta-da.